I welcome you to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add graphics to your design, your floor plan. And at the end of this video, you will learn how to create something like this. You will learn how to color your text. You can color your wall. You can add fill to your wall. Then you will add a furniture and plumbing system to your your plan and um, this is at the end of this video you should be able to achieve all this and without wasting your time let's get started and um, this is what we did last video in the last video we learned how to add windows to our plan but today we want to add some graphics to our design now if you look at this wall now this wall is not thick enough this line is not thick enough and i always prefer to have a fill inside my wall it brings out um, a form of graphics in it and i'm also going to create this staircase in this video but first I want to make this word thick, this line thick I want to make this particular line to be a little bit thicker and if possible we can make it colored instead of black the first thing you will do is go to manage tab you click then you will see this object style click on it and go straight to the bottom i think it's arranged in alphabetical order so we are looking for wall and here is our wall so you select wall and you can see when you are on wall you see that this projection is as it is seen on the elevation when the wall is not cut and what you see here is when the wall is cut you can see the line width we have at the moment is three which is very thin that's why it's not thick enough so I will want to change this one to something like 0.7 and if I hit apply you see that the wall now is now thicker now this is better now this is better than before and if I like if I want to change the color I select this color and I want to change it to dark blue and move it towards the blue towards let it be a little bit darker and click ok if i hit apply now you see you see that the color have changed okay then this projection is as it is seen on elevation and i take it to two so that when they have printed the, when you have printed the drawing it's going to come out well and you are going to photocopy it the printing will be sharp because if you leave it at one some printer will make it 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 will be faint so to avoid that leave it at 0.2 and click ok click ok again and that is that you can see now that the wall is coming out better and what we need now is a fill we need to have a fill in it i don't want it to just be plain i want it to have a, a fill so i select it and i go to edit type this is where you are going to see the fill you see core scale fill pattern you can see there is nothing here 
So I'm going to click on inside this piece and it's going to take me to where I can add fill to it. I like to use this uh, brickwork and click OK. Then you can change the color. I can use the color of, um, let's say, uh, red or brown will be OK. And click OK. Click apply. Click OK. Mm -hmm. Now you can see that the wall has some feel. Now it's looking better. Okay. It's looking better. And let me create this staircase now. To create this staircase, I'm going to use a um, detail line. And my shortcut for detail line is DL. And you see the line type I'm using. I'm using a furniture. This is a line we have created some time ago. If you have not yet watched that video on how to create your line type, make sure you watch that video. Okay, so I am going to draw a line. This is um, 2.4 meter and I only need a single line. And if I like, I can use, uh, I can type the offset here. The offset to be 1200 so that it will be 200 away from this wall. Okay, then I'm going to use an um, array okay. at this point. I'm going to use array. I'm going to go to modify tab, then select this and go to array. Or use the shortcut. I go to array, then type the number I want to copy. For instance, I want to select like 15. Or let me select um, 14. And I want to uncheck this group and associate. I am taking it to the second. And to the first one. I'm going to type 300 and press enter and oof, you can see it has overshoot so I'm going to remove this one and um, if I count it now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I have 19 here. And I want it to be 23. And that means I need 4 more. Okay, so I'm going to select this. And create similar. And I start from the center here. I do this one has been added I need three more and I need two more and I'm going to do this one okay and um, I am going to add this and this one like that and uh, let me see the number the total number i have now i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four okay this is twenty four and i need it to be twenty three so I'm going to remove one from it. I'm going to remove one from it. Like that. Okay. Let me hide this. EH for hide. And I will need to break this so that I will be able to change it. Change some parts to 
ash line so i'm going to cut it i'm going to split it i'm going to split all these split all these okay all right then this is where we are starting our movement from i select the same thing press similar i'm going to draw from here we are moving like this and create an arrow there and i select cycle this is where we are starting our movement from and i am going to select all this one and make it overhead so that it will be a broken line to indicate that is overhead and that is our staircase okay i am going to model it later but I, this is what I do first before I model it. When I want to model it, it's the question of tracing this. It makes it better, faster for me. Then the next thing we want to do is so we want to label the spaces we have in this building and we need text to type the spaces you have you simply select tx tx is the shortcut for text then you click here main lounge okay so that is that and um, if you are not pleased with this uh, font you can change it to change it you select it you can see we don't have any new text here now so i'm going to click on edit i'm going to duplicate it and i will label it as um, room label room label and click ok the color i will want to use let me use something like um, magenta or light blue. Let me use something like light blue and click OK. OK, the background is opaque. And the, the font I would like to use is um, Stylus BT. ST stylus BT stylus BT this is it here yeah. and the size I can use like 3.5 and click OK oh yes that is that and I always like to use a capital letter. I like to use capital letter. Main lounge. It's a little bit faint. The color is faint. Let me change the color. Something that is more pronounced. Mm, but if I like, I can use, um, let me use red, let me use um, red, I'll use red, and click OK, any color you use is OK, OK, oh, you want it to be, I can also use a uh, can use green let me try green dark green and click ok 
then I can bold it I can bold it and click OK there are so many things you can do with it okay that is that so I want to write every spaces we have TX I have my dining here I have my dining I have um, guest room here and I have um, visitors WC I have my auntie here and oh sorry supposed to be this this is the one I'm using. I have my guest room here. This bedroom. Let's type bedroom here. Okay. I have um, maid's room. Maid's room. I have toilet there. And this is kitchen and this is toilet and this is store and this is veranda And I need to open this veranda. I actually opened it some time ago, but I didn't save the work, so I lost it. Now let me open it now. In opening it, I go to I go to approach view and click open. And I'm going to select this. And split this. Then use trim to close this up. And delete this one. Then check the height to be something like 2,700. and finish it then go to 3d and see select this particular one edit it go to that section where we can see it properly okay this is a section and i pick a rectangle and click um split it and trim it trim that and delete this then use um align use the align to align it with this wall and finish it and look at it from 3d that is that okay that is that then select all this window in the entire project and the headroom should be 2400 and hit apply and select all these select all instances in the entire project the headroom should be 2400 and apply and their height should be 1800 
their weight should be one meter and heat apply okay their headroom should be 2400 mm heat apply again okay that is that then let's check this the height should be 2400 mm and heat apply that is that okay what about this the height should be mm, 2400 and heat apply okay that is all those ones are settled let's go back to our floor plan and continue our work there this is our floor plan okay all these are supposed to be let me match property to match property you use um, m a by the way this is match type or properties and match this like that so that they will be of the same the same text and i have let me drag this one to here i can copy this one holding on on control and dragging it to copy it there okay and i can shift this one a little bit okay that is that then i need to add our furniture to it to, to add furniture you can load your furniture from other projects if you don't have it and let me go to our project that is open at the background this is the project if i go to the ground floor and i want to load this one into the project he, all this one does not need host since they don't need host i'm going to copy all of them and i'm going to copy them and paste in our current file so i hit on copy and go to our plan close the hidden window and go to our plan and i'm going to paste click ok and let me paste it outside here okay this is my dining i move it here and i hit on space bar to position it properly okay this is my bed i drag it and use my arrow key to position it properly i can equally use my control holding on control and copying it I use my space bar to position it like that and I can move this bed to here and use my space bar to position it like that and position it properly and this is um, I drag this one to here and i move this one to here to the center 
no i move this one here i use my space bar to position it drag it to the center then um, this is my washer basin i drag it there use my space bar to position it properly and move it there and i'm going to copy this move this one there move this uh bar top there then we need um wc cs is create similar and i'm going to use my space bar to position it um it's i can move this one to this place Okay, then I need a uh, washam basin. Select this washam basin and use control to copy it, then drag it and position it here. Okay, let me rotate it by 90 and press enter. Then use spacebar to toggle it and drag and place it i'm going to select this create similar and use my space bar to position it then i need the washer basin select it use create similar and I will position it here and I will also position it here. It's still active. Okay, and then I want to create a similar of this one. Type CS. CS is my shortcut for create similar. And I am going to place this one here. Okay, suppose it's actually supposed to be in the middle and let me check the the depth of this place this depth is supposed to be something like okay like 3000 is okay 2000 is not bad okay and I'm going to move this door up and toggle it then move this one out a little bit then select the WC press similar and place it here like that okay and this is where we have our this is where we have our veranda so i select a dl for detail line leave it at furniture and go like that i select this use dl to delete dl to delete that line then offset this one so something like two to five two to five then use to use extend to clean this place up and I can bring this one there I select these two that are inside and make them overhead and I can select this Create similar, use rectangle to have my step, and I can use dimension, place it there to make sure it is 300 mm, and press empty space. I can delete this 
I like, I can set this one to be something like 300 Okay, we are going to add line here and if possible we can make it a step let me drag this one out a little bit I can copy this then use trim let's save our project and trim that that's our step to the mace room and I'm going to add step to here and can make it 300 press enter and it go like that I can select this and copy then use trim to trim it And like that and I can see that the dimension is the dimension text is a little bit big so I can reduce it to something that is more okay what I have here I can reduce it to something like 1.7 if that is going to make it better and hit apply okay it's better okay so i will not be able to do everything now but that is um, how you can add graphics to your to your plan okay and i hope you benefit something from this video if you do make sure you give me a feedback and if your feedback can be in form of video i will appreciate it okay thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video bye